Hello. It is Lebo Savings again. Thank you for joining me again. I got I got something I want to share with you today. I was driving along yesterday and um, I looked down at my, at, the, at the instrument cluster and I, I saw a little light that looked like a looked like a battery with the plus and minus sign. I knew what that was. I said that either the battery is bad or the alternator is bad. And I said I just replaced the battery not too long. I knew the battery is fine and the car started right up, no problem. It's just kind of like out of the blue. I was kind of thinking maybe it's going to be the alternator. So, here's the thing. I replaced that alternator also about a year ago. So, it should be fine. But, I thought maybe it was just bad and it just failed kind of early. So, that was sort of my thought. But, first thing I did when I popped the hood and I took a look underneath the hood, I was like, uh-oh, I figured out what it was. It wasn't an alternator, but it was a belt that drives the alternator. It seems that what happened is that that belt decided to turn itself into a shredded little pile of a mess. Take a look right here. You see this stuff here? That that used to be uh, a belt. And it would look a little bit more like something like this one right here. You see this thing, this belt? Instead, it, instead of it looking like that, it's looking like this mess of stuff. Okay, so anyways. I knew that belt was going to go bad last time I worked on it because it was looking a little rough. And I didn't replace it then because I was like, oh, gosh, it looks like it's going to be a headache to do. And it kind of was. Um, but I found that trick, and I thought I'd share it with you because when I looked on the Internet, I guess I didn't look at the right places because some of the other tips that people are showing me, which I appreciate, but the other tips that they show me, they, they kind of had me going a different direction, and it was, it was a little hard. So the hardest part, when you got to change that belt for that alternator, you got to change three belts. You gotta change the power steering belt. You gotta change the belt for the air conditioner. And uh, then once you pull them off, you can get yourself down, right down to that alternator belt. So, the hardest part of this is that first belt, that power steering, you gotta loosen a little adjustment. And let me tell you, let me flip this thing around here so you can see. Down in this engine bay, it's, it's hard to get to. It was real hard, but then, I found this one little spot. If I can sh look around over here, let's see here. Let's see if you can see this. This belt, back over here, this flap is right behind the passenger side tire. If you take it off, this flap, there is a bolt right in there you can get to. It's, it's really hard to see. I don't know if I can show it to you. This camera is kind of in a tight spot. But if you get in there, you can get to it. And you can loosen it up, and then life gets a lot easier from there on. So I'm getting ready to put the rest of the belts on. I bet I'll be done in probably about 30 minutes and have it ready to roll. I just thought I'd share with that. So you have yourself a real good day. Thank you.